So, the reason I started here is because I'm going to put a header image in. But, I want Thesis to tell me how big that header image is. And so, Thesis 2.1 comes with this new header image feature. And based on how wide your columns are, it will tell you what the recommended header image size is. Now, unfortunately, this is one of the failings in beta 11. This is not right, actually. <laughs> right? This calculation is unfortunately wrong. It has been fixed in the next release. So if the next release is beta 12, or if tonight when I'm doing it, beta 12 is available, then uh, this will be calculated correctly. But at the moment, this is showing me the wrong number. Um, the right number is the sum of those two columns. So if I go back over to design and I look at these two columns, it's 654 and 354, which is 1,008. Okay, that's the, that's the actual width and when the next version comes out, that's what this will say. The ideal header image is 1,008 pixels wide instead of 897. Okay, so anyway, I've got an 1,008 pixel wide header, and I want to use it. So I'm going to select my header image, and I'm going to, you see that it brings up the Windows, uh, I'm sorry, it brings up the WordPress media library. Now, if you've already got the thing sitting in your media library, it's no big deal. You can just pick it from the media library, but I need to upload it. So I'm going to select upload, select my file and then go to where I have this thing stored and I'm going to install the 1008 version of the thing and now that I've done that see it says set header image I don't have to do anything over here I can just set the header image and if I refresh my page, now the header image is here, and um, the header image is automatically clickable. All right, so if I click it, it's going to take me back to my home page. And if we just take a look at this in the Responsinator, you can see that the header image scales so that it, it remains responsive, right? It scales to fit the space. So that's one of the really cool things about uh, this Thesis Classic responsive skin is that the header image scales to fit the space. Okay, now that's putting the, the header image in, you know, the right size, the 1,008 pixels wide. Uh, what happens if you put a header image in that's too big? Well, let's go ahead and upload one that's too big. We're going to upload one that's 1,400 pixels wide. That's this one right here. And if we set the header image... You can see it's the header image is 1400 pixels wide by 270 pixels tall. And what it does is it shrinks the image down so that it fits in the space. Okay, this is a 1400 pixel wide image, but it's been shrunk down to the 1008 pixel wide. So it doesn't crop the image off, it scales the image down. And um, if we look at it in the Responsinator, you can see the same thing happened, right? It just got scaled down. Now, there's one other case, and that's what happens when the header image is smaller than the available space. And I'm going to pick this one here. This one's only 293 pixels wide. So uh, we'll come back over and take a look at it. And in this case, it makes the image full size and it leaves a whole bunch of space over here. Now, notice what happens in the Responsinator. 
that space goes away, right? If it doesn't fit in the space, then it'll get shrunk down. But it doesn't shrink. Um, you can see it, it did shrink here, right? Because this is only 240 pixels wide, so it's smaller. But um, it shrinks if it has to, and otherwise it leaves a space. Okay. So those are the various conditions that exist for this uh, header image. We're going to switch back over and just um, select the header image that actually fits the space, which was the main intention here all along. Perfect.